You guys hear that? How nice and quiet it is compared to before? This is what I like to see. what's up guys good morning and welcome back to my channel it's your boy eddie <laughs> hope you're all having a beautiful day today so today right now we're actually leaving the garage we got the cd008 transmission back here yes we got a video coming up on that well most of you probably know it as the cd009 the cd008 is the newer model that they made which is basically the same thing but probably some few upgraded parts in there but today's video is going to be how to change your serpentine belt also known as the main belt on your nissan 350z vq35 hr model and yes you guys know i have a de model but i told my boy i was going to help him out as soon as he gets his 350z and he just got it it needs a belt because he just sent me this clip as a tester So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just change it out. It's literally a one, two, three job. There's really not much to it as opposed to the DE model that I have. You gotta check the belt tension, it's two belts. But of course, because my audience has 350Zs, I know some of you have HR, so this will definitely come in handy. Yes, you guys have it a lot more easier with the serpentine belt and that auto tensioner. I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's gonna be short and sweet, really not much to it. So guys, if you find this video helpful in any way, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button because yes, we have a lot more mod and DIY content coming your way. So guys, whether you have a Nissan 350Z 07 to 08, the HR models, or an Infiniti G35 HR model, this video is for you. If you have a 03 through 06 Nissan 350Z and Infiniti G35, then this video is not for you, but I definitely do have it right here because I did that on mine, but I also did a pulley delete. That way it can make maintenance a lot more simpler and allow the engine to run a little more efficiently. But I figured, hey, you know, being that we are here, being that we're gonna tackle this HR model, why not make a quick clip of it? Because I'm sure some of my audience has an HR model, so I can't forget you guys. And of course, like I said, with the transmission works, don't forget to follow me on IG. That way you guys could stay up to date in regards to the build. And of course, if you ever have a quick question or anything, definitely go ahead and feel free to DM me there. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the road and go see my boy's new 350z see you guys in a moment let's go ahead and take a quick moment Oof. damn i love the way i really do let's take a look All right guys, so it's pretty straightforward. Really not much that you need, just a 10 millimeter. You can use a wrench or a ratchet, either one. You got a half inch breaker bar. Okay, that's number two. And then all you need is an Allen key. Either five or six millimeter will work, but I just grabbed my whole set. Just in case I didn't have one, I got the rest. But this is basically what you need in order to get the job done. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood and take it from there. All right guys, so we're gonna start off here. We're gonna remove the reservoir. We got a 10 millimeter on both sides. We got one here. And then over here. All right. <laughs> That's supposed to be a 10 millimeter, but it's a screw. Bro, you know you gotta screw on instead of a 10 millimeter. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and just remove this right here. So let's do that right now. And then we can go ahead and remove both sides and pull her up. Alright guys, so here goes the auto tensioner that I was mentioning earlier. We're going to go ahead and put our half inch breaker bar all the way down here. 
in this little opening. We're gonna go ahead and go counterclockwise and bring it up. And then here, once these two points join, we're gonna go ahead and put a hex right through it. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. All right, guys, so go ahead, just give it a little push so that it goes in. There you go. She's now in, and now we can rotate it. All right, so first things first, go ahead and grab your six millimeter. That way you guys can have it handy and you're not searching for it later. And let's go ahead and rotate that now, put it into place. All right, so real quick, I ended up changing the angle. So we're going to go ahead and go from the side, just like this, and then pull it back up. Alright guys, so now, <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so now you can go ahead and release it. You'll be good to go. The tensioner will be loose. And now you can remove the belt. One, two, three. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. Alright guys, so real quick, go ahead and just pop off your half inch breaker bar. I'll go ahead and just put a screenshot up here for you guys. That's the way you're supposed to put it back on. That's the sequence. All right, so this one goes behind. Good. All right, and there you go. She's now out. Look how beautiful that is. All right guys, so real quick, that way you guys can see, in order to make the job easier, put it around the AC pulley, crank pulley, and then this pulley here as well. That way you can have enough slack, then we'll go ahead and just run it underneath and up around. part all right guys so what i did was right now i just went ahead and disconnected it from the power steering pulley that way i could just bring it up and act like i'm wrapping it around this to bring it up and around so let's go ahead let's bring that up now and just so you guys can see to lift this belt up and put it around there's a bolt back there that kind of interferes but in any case, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when you get to this job. This part is gonna be the hardest one. All right, guys, there you go. It's now snapped over. Okay, now we can go ahead and put it on this pulley, the power steering and the alternator as well. Okay, so now we just tackled this pulley here. Now we're gonna go ahead and we put it against the alternator first. Now we can go ahead and just pull this one up and around. I'm gonna go ahead and release some slack by taking this one off and come back to this one later. All right guys, job well done. Now we can go ahead and just make sure all the grooves are matching, all the pulleys are nice and safe. And then we can go in there and release with the breaker bar and removing our hex key. So let's go ahead and just take a second look before everything's done and removed and then we'll be good to go. All right guys, so some takeaways real quick before we go ahead and release it is number one, wrap it around the crank, the AC, this pulley right here, this one right here, and then you're gonna have to work your way into using this one 
and then once you secure that right there you can go ahead put it around the alternator then bring it up and put it around the power steering but before you put it around the power steering release some slack from this one if you need it just take it off wrap it around here first because it's a tighter area and then you can come back and slap this back on as we did in the video so there you go that's a recap on how to make it easier and let's go ahead and release this bad boy so now let's just bring it up counterclockwise all right and bring it down nice and slow be careful with any sensors that you may have around there all right make it nice and easy just be sure everything's cleared okay Good. Now we can go ahead and wheel this out. All right, guys, so just double check your work. As soon as you release it, make sure all is good. Grab any tools that you may have dropped, like my flashlight down there, and then you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead, reassemble everything make it nice and neat as it was before and start the car guys okay, so now we can go ahead put the reservoir back in nice and neat go ahead and just wrap it around nice and tucked all right good make sure it goes into the groove nice and smooth that way it'll sit by itself and then you can reinforce it with the screws put your 10 millimeter on the side All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and start this bad boy up. Guys, hear that? How nice and quiet it is compared to before. What a beauty. This is what I like to see. All right, guys, and that's the ending of the video. Right now, I'm editing it, and I just noticed that I didn't do the outro, and that's probably because right after, we ended up just chilling and hanging out. But yeah, guys, if you have a 350Z 2007 through 2008, or Infiniti G35. As long as you have a VQ35 HR engine, this video is for you. And if you follow it step by step, you'll be able to change your main belts, also known as a serpentine belt, in a flash. And yes, I know it's not my car, but at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? Let's spend the time together. And plus, it fits in perfectly with the channel because it's practically all Z stuff. And my boy has his new Z. And I'm sure some of my audience, like I said before, definitely does have an HR model. So in case anybody needs to do some maintenance, this video will be here for you. But all right, guys, I just wanted to shoot this quick clip on the iPhone just to put it in to end the video properly. If you found the video helpful at all, definitely give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button because yes, we got a lot more DIY and mod content coming your way. And to stay up to date with the build, definitely go ahead and follow me on IG. And of course, guys, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for the ongoing support. And like always, think for the future, enjoy your present, and don't focus too much on the past. Peace.